So what I want to do is to get the Canon C200 here working uh, with Ethernet. The camera's currently off. This is my Ethernet switch. And there's wire from the camera and into my iPad. So let's switch the camera on. So there we go, hello camera. And let's go into the menu. And it's all here. Now it says connection setting three, activate browser remote. And it says AP remote. No idea what that means. But what I don't have is the Canon camera popping up in this menu. So let's play with the connection settings, but I can't enter them unless I deactivate browser remote. And I still can't enter the connection settings. Ah, now it says three. Right. So previously this was Ethernet, but it now says 2.4 gigahertz, which is Wi-Fi. So let's edit that. Right. The name is currently ABCD. So let's edit this. Um, I'm going to click Ethernet and automatic IP address. Now the SSID is blank. Configuration name, which is SSID, totally inconsistent. And I'm going to input one and I'm going to call it A, B, C, D, E. So I've input the name ABCDE. Do I want to save the network configuration? Okay. Now I can reactivate browser remote. And it's active. I go into my iPad. And there is no A, B, C, D, E. So let's turn browser remote off. I'd like to edit my connection settings. I can't do that. And now I can do that. I'm going to edit that. Ethernet is good. And now it's asking for a password. Edit. So the SSID is now blank. I'm going to edit that. Input a new SSID, let's call it A B and I'm saying OK channel one I want no encryption automatic IP OK name is OK, save the configuration, OK, network configuration is set, OK, now it says 3, don't know why it doesn't say A, B anymore, so I'm going to activate browser remote, and 
And ah, so here we are in my settings. AB has popped up. I'm connecting to that Wi Fi network, and I can now go into the uh, live view and the camera is at about two frames a second being controlled. So I've turned everything off, unplugged it. Let's have a go. So I'm going to turn the camera on. Turning the Plugging the laptop, sorry, the iPad into the Ethernet. And if I go into the iPad settings, AB is still there, so I connect it. Live view. is working very good so I'm going to turn it all off and come back in a little while so it's 20 minutes later let's turn the camera back on let's plug the ethernet back into the Wi-Fi and Come on. In the settings, in the Wi Fi, it's very good. Here it is, my networks AB, connect, open up the website, live view. So that's working, that's very good. We've got live view, a remote HDMI monitor, and Ethernet connectivity. This camera is looking for the firmware 108100. So, um all the batteries are out and nothing's plugged in and I'm going to try it again. So let's turn on the switch. Plug in the iPad. Battery in the camera and turn it on. Here's the cameras come on, AP remote. And let's have a look what we've got on the iPad. Settings. Wi-Fi. We've got AB, wonderful, very good. Connected to that. Onto the website. Live view, please. Turn the camera off. Stop recording.